Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 40th World and I am none other than Deb Chanel. Okay, welcome, 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 welcome. Come on in the house. Let's get on into this video that Atlanta Black Star brought out. That's Atlanta Star, uh, Atlanta Black Star .com. And the columnist, columnist or the correspondent, uh, Tia Berger is over there bringing out this beautiful a uh, salacious story about Candy Burris, honey. Now, we know Candy Burris been clocking her own tea lately. Okay, mm -hmm. things that she's been trying to do on her speak on it or a Candy uh, online that she's been doing on her YouTube platform. And definitely growing leaps and bounds. Congratulations. I salute you, sister. Okay, well, yes, I, from here to there, when she does a episode review or recap on her um, particular show she co-hosts with um, five other women, she definitely has um, called herself clocking her own tea when it comes up to reviewing the Housewives of Atlanta for season 12. And I'm like, girl, 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 girl. If you don't tell it, we won't know about it, okay? That's the golden rule we all must live by. And if we do tell it, then don't worry about who got it, who putting their spin on it, who's talking about it and running away with it, whether it's facts or not. You know what I'm saying? It's all from everybody's people's perspectives, viewpoints, and opinions, all right? But we're going to get on into this article. Um, Tia Berger, like I said, wrote it. She's one of the journalists or correspondents over there at AtlantaBlackStar.com. It was posted today. And her title reads, We're Good, Kendi Burris Sets the Record Straight About Todd Tucker Spending Her Money. Okay, after fans deem him a sugar baby. Not a sugar daddy, but a sugar baby. <laughs> now I'm like, Candy, come on now. Either you're going to dog your husband or put him on front street. Tell us all that he ain't doing and all the things he have been doing, but none of it has been coming up in good, positive revenue that's gotten you staying in the black. Whether you make it, he make it, or y'all both make it, honey. You were just too fit to be tied. Him going around him, taking money out your private account that you say y'all both earned the money together, so y'all definitely... Uh, take turns on spending the money on whatever venture that y'all feel is going to be lucrative or whatnot but i'm like girl when you put your husband out here on front street for everybody to attack that's what we gonna do because we only going by what you telling us all right and what we're seeing on tv so make it make sense candy is he taking your money is he not taking your money when you get mad at him you come on the tube and want to just break his joints his bones tam down okay and then once you go back and review it and you see how the people are coming at your husband you want to flip the coin and get on his side girl come on either play in your own league or drop the T, because we all need to know. All right, we we just knows it like that, I should say. Okay, but anyway, going into the article, it says Candy Burris had a few things to get off of her chest. Okay, this weekend, after fans questioned her husband Todd Tucker's financial habits. Okay, well, we already know he liked to make it rain on them strippers. What he should have been, and what you should have allowed him to do, was take some of that money that y'all had invested in, and it came back with um. Yielding a high percentage back from you all, uh, ventures out there making money together, whatnot. You should have let him buy a strip club, okay? Because it seems like that's where he liked to be around. That's like where he liked to spend his downtime and where he feels more relaxed in and relaxed at. You should have gotten him a strip club, okay? But I'm just saying, you could still do it. Just close down some of them other little ventures he's been doing, sell the property mm -hmm. off, and go buy you a strip club, okay? And then put some old entities or lease some old buildings around the area, and then maybe he can. I don't know do whatever he can do okay to come out uh, uh, from under your shadow but going back to the article it said on Sunday's night episode of the Real Housewives of Atlanta Burris and her husband got into a small disagreement over business after viewing an empty space for a New Mexican restaurant Tucker wanted to open as they ju as they juggle multiple locations of their old lady game restaurant now, we only have two that we know about. 
Uh, this old lady, OG restaurant, Mexicana style, is supposed to be the third one, can it? And you already had to put up another lease, or y'all together put up another lease, or uh, money, front money to get the other lease in hand to offer this old LG Mexicana type thing going on. I don't know, honey. I don't know. Two restaurants, okay. Successful, good. Trying to push that envelope a little further. Trying to do another restaurant. Mm, I don't know, Ken. I don't know. Do what your financial portfolio, financial people are telling you, honey. Don't disregard just because your husband out there want to go spin up, spin up, spin up. Because mm -mm, that money can drop real quick. And then he really going to be working on your money. Because you're saying it's the together money that y'all made. Together forever. Okay. Once he drives that up or you allow him to dry it up by you not saying, uh -uh, we don't need to touch no more money. Okay. We, do, we just can't do it. He gonna be going into your personal finances, and that's where all the shit gonna hit the fan. Okay, but let's move on. That was just my sidebar, my viewpoint. Okay. Um, it goes on to say she's telling Todd to pace himself. Burr said in her confessionals, "I've outlasted a recession. I'm a little bit safer in my moves." He wants to tell me how it's supposed to be done. Okay. Mm -mm. Well, that's what they do when they get the big head candy. When you don't finance them all this long time. And they think they can see a, a, a light through the tunnel. And they want to stand on their own and do things. But, you know, men are hard-headed. They don't never like to listen to their wives. Okay. Even though their wives can be telling them straight up the truth. From sun up to sun down. And they'll have to go get that truth. After they don't stumble, fumbled, and blumbled everything. They come running with their uh, tail between their legs back to you. Saying, oh, I am, you're right. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you and all that kind of stuff. But then they'll be done blew through some trillion dollars. And you'll be like, mm, I don't want to forgive you right now. <laughs> I want to wallow in myself, Peter. How stupid I could have been to have given you that money. Back up. Back up. Give me 50 feet. That's what you're going to be telling him later on. But again, that's my sidebar. We're going to go on to uh, the article, back to the article. Uh, following the episode, several viewers slammed Tucker for seemingly making bad business decisions at the expense of his wife's personal savings, with some folks even accused him of trying to mooch off her financially. Okay. Burris, however, set the record straight on social media and let people know that they're her husband, know that. Her husband has his own capital. Well, see, there again, Candy. Well, I'm kind of confused, baby. It, it's y'all money together that y'all saved and put forth an effort to go on and make more lucrative deals. Or is it his money? Because, you know, just three minutes ago, you said it was y'all money. Or some past investments that became very fruitful and prosperous for you all. And y'all just taking that money and, and trying to build on and on and on. But now you come around here and somebody, is his mind assisting you? Candy, you're lying. You're lying, girl. You said too much. Social media reacted back to you. They were holding you up, putting you up, and tearing your husband down. But see, nobody would have known none of this if you wouldn't have brought it out on Front Street. That's why I don't know, Candy, pump your brakes when you've been sitting out here wanting to tell us this, that, and the third. Just to amp yourself up and make yourself um, look a little bit more advertiser friendly and you know making us want to watch you more i mean just do what you can do with the women but don't bring that's a good way to end your marriage in a bad way but then i'm looking at you too and i'm looking at it from a perspective like damn okay why is candy putting card on front street like this okay it could be very it could be a very smart divorce move because if you can prove and show that Todd had went through six hundred and sixty thousand dollars worth of money and there was nothing equal to coming back from that. Um and then you're saying that he don't like to give his daughter, biological daughter, any money. He's, you know, Reaping some benefits off of you. And you've already stated that, yeah, okay, you had to get him some money when you uh, put out there that you asked him to leave his company with Bravo Entertainment to come over. Because uh, it was like a, what do you call it? Um, it was like, well, you can't work for a company. It's, it's called like, mm, what is the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it. It's not nepotism. Um, it's when... You're making money with someone that's making money at the same employment. So, I don't know what it's called. Infringement or 
Mm, I can't think of the word. Maybe y'all understand what I'm talking about. But what I'm basically trying to say, when you got two people working together, y'all are in a relationship and the company goes against fraternizing. Maybe that's what the word is, fraternizing with one another and becoming a unity and trying to take from the same fund that's paying you all. I don't think y'all can do business and pleasure at the same time. One of y'all got to quit. Y'all know where I'm going with it anyway. Good. Um... Well, basically, you know, she can come out and say that she told Todd on her own volition to come away, step away from what he was doing prior and come with her. She got the security bag for him. She's going to let him, you know, use some of that money to get himself started on his own new ventures and businesses. So that shows in good faith that you were there for him. But he just blew through some money. So, girl, are you trying to set a track record? You trying to put stuff out on Front Street so it's already known in public as well as in private that according with your prenup, mm -hmm. You looking like you definitely helped this man solidify himself. But then on the other hand, you showing that he is not being, um, what do you call it, um, financially aware of what he's doing with the money. He's not uh, being uh, a good host of making sure the money stays in the black instead of being in the red. He's not a, a good financial accountant when it comes to you know making sure everything is uh the balances are correct the checks and balances are out there that thing is outstanding are you trying to show him as a poor businessman can it so if you had to divorce him you could say no i gave him all of this i gave him all that he went through all of this he blundered through all of this uh previously and i i, I couldn't do it anymore he was you know bleeding me dry <laughs> Is that what you're doing, Candy Girl? Wink, wink. Now, I, now I don't. I'm not mad at you if you're doing that way. If you're trying to protect yourself on the long end, then you go ahead, girl. You got the smart businesses. I know Mama Joyce taught you well. Woo -hoo. If you're taking it from that standpoint, I ain't got nothing to say, honey. Show him up, show him out, and then take up for him. And when the shit hit the fan, you can say, No, I did all I could do. You did what you did and it was just wrong so i'm sorry prenup you don't get nothing from this cash cow anymore boo bye bye so i'm, I'm good with that idea that that's where you're going with it candy i'm just saying i'm trying to peep game i'm trying to understand this situation because most women uh, let alone black women they want to know where their money at. You know what I'm saying? They want to see if they were somehow giving you all of this money. They want to see some positive percentages brought back home. Okay? Brought back home to mama's purse. All right? And replace that money. All right? That's what we like to see all day, every day, honey. Candy know what it be like to be poor. She know what it feels like to be somewhere up in the middle class status. Now, hey, she don't compose it straight through. Uh, the elite side side, she like that. She like how she lives. She got maids. She got nannies. She can come and go as she want to. She got a lot of materialistic stuff. Her house is paid for. And I'm sure it's worth a quarter of a million, if not a million, and over some. You know what I'm saying? So she like like she live and Riley do too. And Riley like, uh uh, mama. I haven't reaped all the benefits from you and my brother. Um, Ace and my sister Blaze, we need our money, honey. Just cause you don't want to get Kayla on because Todd trying to secure his bag more often and and um regularly. They ain't got nothing to do with us. We three still need your money. And hell, I was the first one. So you know I'm going to need the money until I tell you I don't need it no more. And it'll probably be on your deathbed. Okay, boo-boo? And then I still be saying, well, will mama leave me? <laughs> No, honey, you don't spoil your kids, and they love that rich life, and they ain't trying to live nowhere near going back down, okay? Mm -mm, not in no $30,000, $40,000 home or a uh, financial situation. Mm -mm. They're like, mm -mm, Mom, your house probably about eight or 90000 now. You know, depending on the housing market out there and what's surrounding the houses, that house may be worth uh, 300000 by now. And we ain't going to talk about the house that we're living in currently. Shoot. Well, I'm probably giving her economic lesson over there. But anyway, we go back to the article. It says, Burris, however, set the record straight on social media and let people know that her husband has his own capital. FYI, Todd is not spending my personal money. She tweeted on December 22nd, which is uh, yesterday. He and I have made a lot of money together, which is what we use to invest in new businesses ideals. He helped me. 
or he helped make it so he can help decide how it's how to spend it thanks for your concern but we're good okay i'm like okay can if you say you're good girl because we can't spend your money and we can't well we can help you make money by continuing to watch you on real housewives of atlanta and we can patron some of your businesses like the olg uh community of food soul food out there we can do that for you but baby girl are everybody that was coming to your corner trying to recognize are you sleeping candy i know you're a sugar mom and all this and third but don't let the man take you for uh, all you got and then you definitely gonna be dealing with some hateration going on and people saying i told you so i told you so but girl i give you all your props honey if you're going the way i think you're going small woman candy small woman honey but um i don't know if it's true or not you would think todd would want to just come on out let Candy have that money or t let him have that money that y'all so called. And I'm sure did it come from a mother's love, that play uh, thing y'all were doing at one time? Or I don't know what y'all got yourself into, okay? Maybe y'all playing the lotto or, or something to that effect. I have no idea where you're getting the revenue that uh, that can have Todd out there spending money out the wazooka. But, you know, it's your man. It's your money. It's, it is what it is. It's your contacts. And however y'all made that money, that he is definitely scooping up more than what he's bringing in from what you're saying. Child, please, you better put a cap on that thing. Put a cap on it. Let that brother finish one project to his entirety and then let him move on to the next one. But you talking about six projects he got out there? Or what's it, three? I don't know. We just going to say three projects. And none of them have been fulfilled. Child, please. Mm-mm. Put a hole on it. Let no more funds come out and let that brother finish a task at hand. Let him finish those three tasks. If it, he don't only finish two of them for 2020, okay? But it is what it is. Okay, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully, hopefully you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Share and like my videos. Share and like my videos. Share and like my videos. And subscribe, 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 people. Okay, happy holidays. And I will see y'all tomorrow for another video. Blessings. Bye-bye.